Hey guys, it's Stefan from The Tool of Style, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your gameplay from your HD PVR to your Mac. HD PVR is situated for Windows, so you have to use third-party program to make it work on a Mac. So there is two programs that you can use. I have ITV in my dock here. I did buy it, but it seems to not work on my computer. But if you have the money, if you go into the Elgato website here, uh, type in ITV3 on Google, and it will come up. This is the North American website, but depending on where you're situated, you can change it. And you want to go down to Shop Online, and then this just reloaded for you, and this will shop up. And come over here to Software, and then ITV will be down here, ITV3. So you can see the pricings, they're a bit uh, more expensive than the HD PBR Capture, which I use, which I'll show in a second. But if you have the money, this is the best program to use. It has the best reports and is a lot better than HD PBR Capture. Uh, it's a lot more stable and you can get the best quality out of it. Plus it has a lot of different other features you can use for like iPod and iPad. <clears throat> and if you have the 1316 model for the HD PBR, you will have to do an upgrade straight away, but I think that's free. So if you want to get ITV, buy it from this website, then download it. But what I'm going to show you now is HD PBR Capture, which is a lot cheaper and it still works well. So you want to type in HD PBR Capture on Google. I'll just do it for you. See HD PBR Capture, and that comes up with Stebentoth.net. I'm going to click on that, and then this is the main screen. And you want to go over here and click Ordering. Then, the first thing you need to do is go to your HD PVR and find the serial number. It can be found on the bottom of the HD PVR device, or you can plug it in via the USB and go into System Profiler, and then USB, and then hold poor HD PVR, and then it'll have your serial number um, in the settings there. So, how do you order it? It's quite easy. It didn't take me very long. It took me about five minutes altogether to get started. So, first off, you need to download the demo, which will let you record for two minutes or so. And you can test it out there, test the quality. But um, I'll show you some settings as well that you need to use. But after you've tested it and it works well, then you'll have to download uh, the serial number. You type in your serial number, and then it will send you an email with a license key, which you type in to your demo, which I'll show you in a second. So you type in your HTTP VR serial number, and it will send you an email with a license key, and it will be a word doc, um, a text document, or something like that. And you would uh, plug it into your HGPVR capture in a registration setting, which I'll show you. So once you've done that, done done that, pretend this is the demo. It will have a bracket demo here. Um, it's all the same, but you can't record for as long. So two minutes isn't very well. But thirty dollars via PayPal, it says. But you can use all these methods. I'm pretty sure I use a credit card. They just don't update update their website too often. So what you want to do is come over to HGPVR capture, and then click preferences. And then you click registration. I have a license key in there, so I'm not going to show you, but you just click registration and then copy and paste your license key in there and then click register. <clears throat> and then you'll be ready to go. It's quite easy. And your device here will pop up here. And then the video signal detection means that your HD PVR is plugged into your Mac and is ready to go. But how do you record and what settings should you use? So if you have the components in HD and the rear analog jacks, this is the suggested method plug them in, set it all up. I'm hoping that you've set that up. This is just the recording part. Uh, the main things you have to change is going to video encoder and you have to click constant bitrate. And then you can change that depending on how much uh, disk space and quality you want to get. I just use it as that because I don't really have much disk space left and I haven't really changed it yet so I don't know what will be different but um, maybe it will make it better. So then you want to go to audio encoder and then you have to click perform post processing. Basically what this does is it repackages the file into mp4 which can be used in iMovie or Mac programs if not it will be a .m2ts file which is a blu-ray file and is only readable by Sony Vegas if you want to change it <clears throat> uh, take the file to Sony Vegas on a different computer say you're using a laptop and the Windows computer is downstairs or something then <clears throat> you don't have to perform post-processing and then you can just take the m2ts file via USB or something like that and boost audio levels during encoding that's true, you do that, and two channel AAC, and if you want you can enable blue LED light during recording. This will enable that it is recording, and you can also monitor the video whilst recording in VLC. So download VLC, it's about 10 megabytes or something like that. And then the rest you can change yourself is the brightness, contrast, and saturation, stuff like that. I leave it the same, it's obviously on default so it must be the best. 
And then here is once you've done your recording, it will convert here and read package into MP4 and does it for you. And then you click your browse folder, which you want it to store to, and then you just click record. Mine's not plugged in at the moment, so I won't be able to record. But you click record, and for the first time, it will take about five seconds for the HD PVR to enable and the blue light to come on. But after that, it will start recording your gameplay. And then you can click stop, and then it will convert or not convert, depending on if you have post-processing or not. And then you can use the file and other programs to edit and put commentary over. But hopefully enjoy that little tutorial on how to record on a Mac. It is quite easy. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you have any suggestions, I have a Windows and Mac PC, Mac and PC, so I can do tutorials on both. Um, so yeah, leave a comment and I'll see you guys later.